Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to enter an array formula into a cell using an Excel macro. Now if you don't already know, entering array formulas is a little bit different than a regular formula um, because you can see there are curly braces on the right and left side of the array formula. And my array formula is right here in this yellow box. And you can see it right here. Also, you know that you can't just hit the enter key to enter an array formula. You have to hit control shift enter. As a result, you can't just use the um, range dot value to enter an array formula into a cell. And if you'd like to get this workbook and the macros contained in it, go to teachexcel.com and you can download everything there. Now I'm going to be using two keyboard shortcuts in this tutorial one for the VBA window, Alt F11, and one to view the macros, Alt F8. So let's go ahead and begin and enter the array formula. So the first thing that you're going to want to do uh, is to create the formula in a cell exactly how you'd like it in uh, the regular Excel spreadsheet. That way you're going to make sure that you get all the syntax correct and all the cell references correct. Because you can see here, okay, this is right, this is right. Visually, it looks okay. And if you were to type this in uh, when creating the macro, you wouldn't be able to visually see if everything looks like it's okay. So once you've typed it all in, simply select all of the text. It's very important, select the text, not the cell. Hit Control C to copy all of that. Now let's close out of this. I'm going to delete this array right here. And now let's go ahead and create the macro. So hit Alt F11 on the keyboard. And I've already got a module open right here, but if I closed it, just right here in my workbook. So I'm going to add on to this module, sub, enter, array formulas. And now we're going to use the range property and the formula array. So range, open parentheses, quote, now I want to type in the cell where I would like the array formula to go. So B9, close quote, close parentheses, dot. Now this is important. Start typing formula, and you'll see there are a number of different formulas right here. But we want formula array. And you can just double click it like that. So range B9 dot formula array. Then to input the actual formula, equal sign, quotation. Now paste the formula that you copied from your Excel spreadsheet, control V, then close quote. And that's pretty much it actually. You got your range, you selected the cell where you would like to put the array formula. You typed dot formula array here. It's important that it's formula array, not just formula. And you've pasted the formula right here, or the function. Also, do not include curly braces here. Excel is going to do that for you, so don't worry about it right here. Now let's hit Alt F11 to go back, and Alt F8 to view the macros, and let's check it out, enter array formulas. And we can see it filled in the array right here in our cell, B9. And to make sure it's an array, you can see that it has curly braces on either side, as well if I double click and just hit enter, it's not going to work. So we can see that the macro entered our formula as an array for us. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, just don't forget you have to use the dot formula array here because dot formula and dot value um, will not work to enter this into a cell. If you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it all there. So that's it.